Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Keely, and in today's video, I'm sharing with you guys 10 macro photography ideas that you can do within your home that are both simple and creative. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that post notification bell down below so you never miss a future upload. And with all of that out of the way, let's just get right on into this video. For the first idea, all you need is a couple of dollar bills and coins. So what I did is I made kind of a little flat lay with a couple of one dollar bills and then I added a couple of coins on top of it. You can do this in so many ways with so many different types of money, not even just American money. You can literally do this with anything that you have in your home. And another great thing that you can do is use your one dollar bill as your backdrop for your coins. Not only will you have very unique and create photos, but it will be amazing. Next, just use some jewelry and a handy dandy mirror that you have in your home. You can either do this with bracelets, rings, necklaces, watches, anything that you guys have in your home. And the mirror adds not only a little bit more of a professional vibe to it, but you also get a really cool reflection shot. And you can see all of the clear details of each of the stones that are inside of each of the jewelry pieces. And this is also really good for any type of product photography. Idea number three is using a makeup brush. So ladies, grab your makeup brushes, preferably a clean one, and you guys can take a photo of all of the bristles and see what your makeup brush actually looks like. Idea number four is to use toothpicks. So what I did is I kind of followed a little Pinterest trend and I just took a close-up photo of all of these toothpicks and it looks insane up close. If you guys haven't tried this yet, you guys so need to because it looks so crazy when you go into the editing softwares. Idea number five is to use ice or water. So what this does is you can see very clearly all of the little particles within the water as it melts from being an ice cube. And not only does this look partially liquid and partially like a solid, but besides seeing the particles, the reflection adds a cool vibe. Idea number six is to go outside, buy some grass and pour some water or spray some water droplets onto the grass and you can see all of the little droplets on each piece of grass and this is so so cool if you want to get into macro photography and work with little water droplets plus this is a really really popular form of macro photography. Idea number seven is to use dried out leaves that are in your backyard. So I'm just holding mine down with a jar here just so that it doesn't blow away. But all you have to do is take a close up shot of the veins of the leaf and the textures. When the leaves are dried out, there are some insane textures and you can clearly see all of the veins in the leaf. Idea number eight is to get any type of stone. So for this, I used amethyst. This is partially polished, partially raw, and this is so, so cool. And I like to do stones better in the dark just because I feel like it added some more detail. And then idea number nine is similar to that of the last one, but this is using some selenite, a more rough type of stone. Idea number 10 is to just use another camera lens. So basically just take a photo of the center of your lens and see what you come up with. It is insane. Now that I've shown you guys how to take the photos, we're going to jump right on into all of the edits and I will see you guys back here in a few. As you guys can see, all of these ideas are super simple and super easy to recreate and get creative with. You can use literally anything in your home. There are so many more ideas besides what I showed you guys in my video. If you guys want a pro tip, one of the best ways to find ideas to photograph is to go over on Pinterest. If you guys want to go follow me on Pinterest, I post a lot of macro photography and photography related posts. That way you guys can get inspired along with me. If you guys recreate any of these photos, feel free to tag me on Instagram, which is at k.m.longoria. I would love to see your guys' photos, recreations, and meet you guys. If you guys would like to support me as well as this channel and our YouTube family, you guys can go and shop from my Teespring store, which has photography merch already up there for you guys to shop from. The link will always and forever will be in my description box below. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys in my next video.